there! This quick video will be about how to use layer masks in Clip Studio Paint with three bonus tips at the end. Thank you for the suggestion! You may recognize this pattern from my last tutorial. I've got it on its own layer. It'll make a great example of how to use masks. To start, I'll go to the Selection Area tool and choose the Ellipse subtool. Click and drag to make a circular selection. Now click Create Layer Mask. When you click this with an active selection, anything within it is shown, and anything outside of it is hidden. You can see a second thumbnail showing the mask on your layer. The image under the mask is still there. Right-click on the mask and toggle Enable Mask Off to see it again. Repeat this to enable the mask again. The mask is linked to the layer by default. Notice this little check mark between the two thumbnails. If you choose the Move Layer tool, the mask and image move together. Right click and toggle Link Mask to Layer off. The check mark disappears. Click on the image thumbnail to select it and you can now move your image independent of the mask. Likewise, you can click the Mask thumbnail to select it, and move the mask separately too. As a shortcut, click the space between thumbnails to toggle the checkmark back on. They're now linked again. Right-click the mask, and select Show Mask Area to see a visualization. It'll only appear when this layer is selected. So how do you edit a mask? First off, be sure the mask thumbnail is selected. Choose the Pen tool, and try drawing somewhere in the middle. Nothing happens even though the pen is set to black. Why? Many programs have you mask with black and reveal with white, but Clip Studio Paint uses transparency instead. Since our brush is 100% opaque, drawing in the masked area will reveal it. It doesn't matter what color you have picked at all, only the opacity. Switch from Drawing Color to Transparent Color by clicking here. The shortcut for this is C, by the way. Drawing now adds to the mask instead. Changing the opacity of the brush allows you to make a partially see-through mask. You can see the effect better if I turn off the mask visualization. If you decide you don't need the mask anymore, simply right-click and select Delete Mask. If, however, you're done with the mask but want to keep its effect, right-click and select Apply Mask to Layer instead. Bonus Tip 1. There's another type of mask called a clipping mask. On the layer below my pattern, I've drawn a picture. When I go back to my pattern layer and click Clip to Layer Below, anything on this layer will only show where the layer directly below it is visible. For example, I use clipping masks to color my line art while keeping my actual line art layer all black. Bonus Tip 2. Here I have a circular selection. Right-clicking and selecting Layer Mask, then Mask Outside Selection, does the same thing as clicking the Create Layer Mask button. However, if I undo that, and choose Mask Selection instead, it creates a frame. Bonus Tip 3. When you right-click on the image thumbnail, go to Selection from Layer, and click Create Selection, the whole layer will be selected. However, you can also right-click on the Mask thumbnail and go to the same options to select the mask's pixels instead. That's it for layer masks in Clip Studio Paint. Hopefully you learned something new about this really useful feature. I'll see you next time.